bonsoir. Est-ce que nous là, pas tant de nous, est-ce que nous là? Si nous là, ou même si nous crampons derrière, des poules là, ferme tant de nous, ça passe. Ça passe. Ok, nous là, on va quitter nous l'autre à soi. Je nous tenais non moins encore c'est Wilna Julius moins c'est un avocat moi j'ai passé 15 ans depuis ma en plaidé toutes sortes de cas accidents toute affaire légale dans Floride là. It is an absolute pleasure to be here present in this room with you guys today. C'est vraiment un plaisir pour moi avec nous. C'est vraiment, vraiment un plaisir pour moi. Si nous gagnons quelques minutes, comme Soraya a demandé pour moi quitter Bocaraton pour me venir, moi ne pas prendre un peu de temps. C'est seulement quelques minutes pour moi adresser nous. As you have heard this evening, the theme for the program is Let's Rise Together. It is really a privilege for me to stand here and address you on this subject. I truly believe that it takes a community working together to succeed community support, community involvement to advance, to make progress, to rise, and as our theme states, to rise together. And if I may use my experience and background as an example. My success today is really a result of community support and involvement. Going back a bit, when I first moved to this country from Haiti years ago, I had very little support internally. And when I say internal, I mean family, parental guidance, etc. My strongest supporter, my mother, was still in Haiti when I moved to the States. During that time, I turned to my community, outside resources, community programs, teachers, and others for support and to further my education and succeed in high school. When it was time for me to graduate high school and having had the goal to go to college but not knowing how I was going to get to my college of choice, I turned again to my community. I reached out to one of my teachers at the high school that I attended and that teacher agreed to help get me there, trying to get me to Tallahassee, help me take that first step. I succeeded in undergraduate school, and while there, I decided I did not want to stop with just a bachelor's degree, but to continue to law school and obtain my Jewish doctorate. After graduating law school and passing the state bar exam in 2007, I returned right back to South Florida to that same community that gave me a hand when I needed it most. If that teacher did not invest in me, did not take the time to rent a car, to drive me to Tallahassee and get me moved in into my dorm room, I likely would not have been able to accomplish that first required step of getting the bachelor's at the time that I did in order to go to law school. The first attorney that I ever met was in Tallahassee. Before that, never met an attorney, a judge, the first to graduate college in my family. That experience in Tallahassee, the interaction with attorneys at the Capitol, opened my eyes and sparked my interest in law. The time spent there 
made a huge difference for me. Now, as a practicing attorney, I make every effort to give back, to stay involved, to help young students that may require the same or similar assistance that I required when I first moved to this country. It is a passion for me. But many of you can do the same. You can help someone that may need some guidance to start a business or a student that may need help preparing for college. Whatever it may be, you can make a difference. The great thing for me, even now, the community continues to have my back. I made the decision earlier this year, after 15 years of practicing law, to open my own personal injury and maritime law firm, where I primarily focus on assisting injury victims throughout the state of Florida. Thank you. And I must say, the outpouring of support from the community since I opened the law firm, Jewel Miss Legal, has been phenomenal. And because of that support, I have the confidence that I will continue to do well. I am only one of many, many examples of how working together, having community support can make a difference. It is important to get more involved in the affairs of the community in which you live, whether from a business, religious, or social standpoint. There are so many ways to get involved, so many ways to lift each other up. And let's be clear, when we do rise, we do need to lift others up behind us. As one of my favorite actors, Denzel Washington, stated, at the end of the day, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about who you've lifted up, who you've made better. It's about what you've given back. Let's support our local businesses community organizations, or students, land a hand. We can do it. Additionally, make sure to go out and participate in the political process. The many elections, including your local elections, vote if you are able to. Always. Elections were just recently held. If you did not vote this last time, make it a priority the next time. No excuses to not participate. Let your voice be heard. You have the right to. That's also a way to make a difference and affect change in the community to make things happen. It is something to be proud of. When you get involved in the community that you're in, you start to take pride in the community's successes and rejoice in the many victories. You help grow a business, you support a political candidate, you do donate your funds, help a student succeed in school. Watching that growth that change take place is so rewarding. It is so wonderful to help others climb their ladders and to contribute to your community. As we close out this year, celebrate during the upcoming holiday season, enjoy the turkey and the Thanksgiving festivities at Christmas and make plans for next year, 2023. 
Let's make specific plans involving our community. Let's make every effort to work together, participate, support each other in the Haitian community and beyond. C'est un sum, un sum pour nous avancer. Let's plan for a stronger community, a stronger Haitian community, a stronger business community. Let's support each other. Let's plan to rise together. Thank you.